What's going on everybody, it's your JRPG enthusiast to you, Shadow Elite, and I am back again with another video. Nintendo have had their Direct, and it was a Fire Emblem Direct. And after all was said and done, everything was revealed, I only have one question. Where the hell is Thaja? Where is my waifu? In this whole little direct, I did not see my waifu anywhere. I can't find her. Where is she? God damn it. She get. It's not fair. It's not fair. She should be in this. She should be the face of fire. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, there she is. Okay, I'm good. All right. So all the joking and waifu stuff aside, she is best girl, though. Fire Emblem Direct. What did they show? So. We have a new Fire Emblem game. So Fire Emblem Echoes is inspired by Fire Emblem Gaiden, which was released way back in 1992. And it's going to feature stuff that that game pretty much had. So what we're going to have in this one is, you know, we got free roaming, dungeon crawling with enemies, flexible character progression, whatever that really means. I mean, like, has, has that always been the same thing for each Fire Emblem game? I, I don't know. I only started with Awakening, so, you know, don't, 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 don't kill me on that. And everything that made Fire Emblem Gaiden unique. It promises classic Fire Emblem gameplay with a twist. So classic Fire Emblem gameplay, that's cool and all. I started with Awakening, so I don't know really much about the classic Fire Emblem games. So I'll be, you know, experiences and that stuff for the very first time. And looking at Fire Emblem Echoes, I do like the character designs. I like the art style. And uh, the dungeon crawling aspect really was um, interesting. I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't. I mean, that, that, that dungeon crawling looks exciting to me. Don't get me wrong. But it seems like it'll hinder gameplay i don't know i'm i'm used to just going to a map and just fighting enemies i don't know maybe something doing something in between would be nice i mean i know in project cross zone i hated just going from map to map to map to chapter to chapter to battle to battle to battle and it got stale pretty quick and by the time i got to the end i was drained out and i only finished it because i spent like 40 hours in the game so anyway having something to do between you know all the battles I guess it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm um, seeing enemies on screen as you travel and as you traverse the dungeons. That's uh, that's gonna be. I, I guess it's gonna be okay. I, I don't really have too much hype about that. I mean, making it more of a traditional RPG experience like the '92 game was. I guess that's cool. No big deal there. Um, as a whole, the best thing about this game, Fire Emblem Echoes, is. There isn't two versions of the game like Fire Emblem Fates had Conquest and Birthright. Thank you, God. Okay, let's get one thing clear. Fire Emblem Fates Conquest, when I played, was okay. It was it was good. Gameplay-wise, I loved it. However, the story was incomplete and left on a cliffhanger. Well, not really a cliffhanger. It was a ending, per se, but no questions got answered. So you had to download the other DLC path to get obvious answers at that but still you didn't want to put it on there because you wanted cash money and this time I don't know if they actually learned from it but I guess they just said oh we really don't need two versions of this game to go around so you know whatever it's still good now I know I'm getting a complete game hopefully they don't leave the true ending to DLC which Damn it, why did I even think of that? Because that, that can really happen. Somebody please tell me to stop thinking so ne <laughs> negatively nowadays. Stop being so goddamn cynical of these games and DLC. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just enjoy everything, you know? So Fire Emblem Echoes, definitely looking forward to. Looks like more of the same great Fire Emblem gameplay I've seen from Awakening and Fates. Why would I not be excited? So next, they announced a new Fire Emblem game only for the Nintendo Switch. And they did literally just that. They only announced it. Like, <laughs> really? So, uh, so no, nah, that just goes into my whole thing about announcing stuff early. But, you know, I digress. I guess it's something to look forward to in 2018. Moving on. So we have Fire Emblem Warriors, which, again, was announced. All they did was show a few more seconds of what was in the Switch presentation teaser trailer. 
So this is still a teaser trailer. There's no, there's no, there's actually like, there's in-game gameplay, don't get me wrong, but you know, you don't see the HUD, you don't see the UI, you don't see different characters in which, how do you not have at least another character? Like who, who's the ones that, um, that are in all the, all the Smash Bros games, all the, like Ike or something like that. Like seriously, Moth, like, you know, those game, those guys are going to be in the game. You know, they're going to be playable. Why don't you just show them? And again, if Tharja is not playable, Nintendo, real talk, we're going to have some problems, fam. <laughs> Seriously, Nintendo, Tharja, character, playable, do it. Uh, but uh, uh, again, they didn't show that much. All they showed was a few more seconds of uh, that trailer. They showed that um, the Switch presentation. <laughs> uh, moving on. So uh, next and the last one that's actually relevant is they're going to have a Fire Emblem mobile game and uh hey man you know what if you're making money i guess go ahead and make a few extra bucks off the mobile market and just go from there i mean i don't really care that much for mobile games anymore going on to the gameplay that i saw for this one it actually looks pretty good it has a nice little story going on you can play as a whole bunch of fire emblem characters so just get me tharja and we're good to go on this i'll download it see how it is and see if it's any good so really guys that's it. I'm not a tech analysis analysis channel. I just give you my viewpoints on things and tell you if I think it's crap or if it's not. So I'm really looking forward to Fire Emblem Echoes out of everything here. Um, the new Fire Emblem game looks great, but it was just an announcement, so who really cares? Fire Emblem Warriors. Well, we're just gonna look at Hyrule Warriors and just apply Fire Emblem characters to it, the Fire Emblem aesthetic to it, and that's pretty much what I think we're gonna get for the most part. Fire Emblem Heroes, I'll download it, sure or not, if I get addicted to it. That'd be great. I mean, it'd be nice to have a game to play on my phone while I'm just sitting around waiting for stuff. Because God knows if I'm just going to be out for a little while, I'm not going to take out a big-ass Nintendo <laughs> Nintendo Switch and start playing. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe some of you will, but I'm just... I'm messing around, people. Calm the hell down. If you want the Switch, go ahead and get it. You ain't got to convince me or yourself. Just go ahead and do you, fam. Anyway, guys, that's it. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think about all this news. Are you going to get Fire Emblem uh, Warriors? Are you going to get Fire Emblem Echoes? Are you going to download that Heroes game like crazy? You know, I guess these mobile games are the next logical step. They, like I said, they make you money. They make you, like, just back, back pocket money, you know? <laughs> just for the hell of it because people will spend money on that. So guys, hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.